Whether we're at work, at home, or out in public, setting boundaries is a critical part of our happiness. Uh, some people say that it is hard to set boundaries. Do you it have an easy time doing that? Well, I think it's confusing sometimes. I don't know. I think, you know, where do you need to put that boundary? Mm -hmm. uh, is there a right way? Is there a wrong way to do it? Speaker, author, and our positivity <laughs> consultant, Rich Bracken, is here. Is this a. I've only heard about boundaries in the, what? I guess last five or six years, but it's kind of a, a big deal, isn't it? It has become a big deal, especially in the last couple of years with everything going on with the pandemic, work from home scenarios. But boundaries are something that we need to maintain and establish and set all the time. And like Nick said, it does get confusing sometimes because your boundaries may vary from person to person, and they will based on your trust levels, based on your relationships. But boundaries are so critical to set because we are our own protector of our energy, our emotions, our bodies, everything about what we do to teach other people how they can talk to us and how they can treat us is how we set and establish our boundaries and how we stick to them. Okay, so how do we do that? It's really, again, going back to what Nick said, it really is establishing your level of comfort with each individual. There may be people in your life that you have complete comfort with, and they're gonna have looser boundaries because you have more trust. But then there are gonna be people, and, and we, we come in contact with them all the time, maybe through social media, maybe in personal interactions, maybe at work, where they just don't understand what other people's boundaries are. So it's a matter of saying, hey, look, this is not something that I'm okay with. If you think about it from a no trespassing sign standpoint, you wouldn't let somebody come in and trash your house. If you say, hey, look, this is my house. This, these are my emotions. This is my body. This is my mind. You're not allowed to come in and have your way with what I have established. So here's where I'm putting my line up. <laughs> Can and you do it with bosses? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you absolutely can and you should. Honestly, like they, it, it is tricky. Again, it, it's not the easiest thing in the entire world. And we're so conditioned to think that setting boundaries is a negative thing. Mm -hmm. Like we're pushing people aside or we're, we're leaving people out or we're being negative in a way. But really, it all comes back to protecting yourself. And when it comes to bosses or coworkers, that's even trickier because you spend a lot of time with them and there's the, the authority shift, there's power struggles, there's all kinds of things that go into those conversations. But if you say, hey, look, this is how I'm feeling. This is what's going on. I I'd, I'd much prefer that you talk to me in this way. Uh, you know, you said something the other day that, that took me off guard. It's okay to have those conversations because at the end of the day, again, as, as easy and difficult as it may sound and seem, you are in charge of your own emotions. You're in charge of your own energy. And if somebody's violating those, mm -hmm. it's up to you to say, hey, look, you know, we got to talk about this because yeah. this is not working out for me. Right. So, I mean, uh, with that, just give us a quick example of, of how you would set uh, a boundary. And the follow-up question would be, would you talk to that person and would you let that person know that I'm, I'm, I'm doing this to protect myself because of something that's happened over and over again in this relationship? 100%, Nick. It's really crisp. So, it, and a good example is to say, hey, look, uh, you know, I had a personal example too in a work scenario where this individual was very belittling. They were very demeaning to me all the time. And I finally said, hey, look, what I need from you is some respect here. I don't feel like you're respecting me. I don't feel like you're talking to me in a tone that is very conducive to productivity between the two of us. So we need to have an understanding here that I won't let you talk to me like that anymore. So let's reestablish the relationship. And from that point forward, because he didn't realize he was doing it. Again, mm. there are some people that are just gonna not understand boundaries and not have really good personal communication skills. And so they may be oblivious to what they're doing. And once I had that conversation with him, he understood it was like, oh, you know, it was very apologetic. But that relationship blossomed from that point forward, and we became very good teammates once that understanding and the boundaries were set because he understood where he could and couldn't go with me. Very good. Great advice. Yeah. yeah. So timely and uh, fits a lot of situations. Thank you so yeah. much. You Thank can you connect guys. with good Rich on social media. RichBracken.com is another place you can go. And uh, we look forward to having you back, Rich. Michelle.